In this project, we've built regular clothing with artificial muscles at the seams. And this garment that you can wear at home and in, in your comfortable everyday life can receive commands from a Bluetooth or a wireless signal to create a physical stimulus on the body. I would like a hug. Giving you a hug. So the idea is to build a system that can come in and chat with people, talk with them, interact with them, hug them or you know compress them if they need that, uh, and hopefully just through this conversation make their life a little bit nicer. What we're trying to develop is a framework that allows you to interface with an AI-based technology that's not scary, that's natural, and also improving outcomes in a way that isn't forced, so you're not forced to sit in front of a mobile device, for example. So some of the people that we're uh, trying to help with this technology are, for example, the elderly that may feel um, lonely in their homes or experience stressful situations and may need extra support. So on the hardware side of things, we've been working on the circuit board and the module that controls the garment. It's connected to Wi-Fi, so it communicates with the software server that the other team has been building um, and able to control the garment and it has different modalities so that we can turn it on low and high. So there are conversational agent systems that are designed for question answering, there are conversational agent systems that are designed to accomplish a specific task. What makes us unique is that we're developing a conversational agent that's designed to operate as part of a larger environment. Hello, Yihan. How are you doing today? Good. I'm glad to hear that. Can you tell me about a positive thing that happened today? I went on a walk and I saw a fuzzy dog and I pet it. That's great to hear. My hope as a wearable technology researcher is that we can have a future where all of the clothing that we wear every day is technology integrated so that you can create experiences on the body and you can measure things about the individual in their natural environment. What I really enjoyed about this project is it didn't pay lip service to an interdisciplinary collaboration. It really was collaborative. I think the biggest thing I learned is that it's important to work with the team and bounce ideas off of each other. Having done this experience it really made us aware of abilities and skills of other people. Maybe we didn't know much in advance and opens up a lot of new opportunities.